Hello, welcome back to the channel for another coin hunt. Today we have a thousand pounds and two pound coins to have a hunt through. This bag was sealed on the 24th of August, 2023, and this one on the 22nd of August, 2023. Let's open them up and see what we can find. And while those bags are being opened up, let's just have a quick look at the book to see which designs we're still after. On page one, um, England and Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland being the rarest two pound coin in circulation. And after that, we have everything up to and including the Great Fire of London. And our first find of the day in the second bag is Charles Dickens. That's a very common one. Oh, and our second find of the day to break that dry streak is uh, Lord Kitchener. So this one is known to have a mule error. If you look at the obverse, just make sure it has two pounds at the bottom. So that one's absolutely fine and is a very common coin. Ah, and here we have Britannia. So Britannia is the definitive design from 2015 onwards. It took over from technology that year. Uh, the 2015 Britannia is very low minted, only 650,000. 2016 is still a keeper, although it's higher minted. And then r rumor has it there's some 2021 Britannias, but I haven't found any of those yet. So let's see what year this one is. It's a 2015 and that is in pretty good nick. Uh, we do not see many 2015 Britannias on the channel. That is a star find. Uh, and the finds are beginning to come in now a little bit after all those bus bags earlier. So this one is Shakespeare's Tragedies. It's one of a three coin set, Tragedies being in the middle in terms of the mintage figure. Uh, none of the Shakespeare's are keepers on my channel anyway. However, this one is known to have an edge inscription error. So I'm just going to check the edge here. It should say what a piece of work is a man, which this one does. If it says for king and country, then that's a pretty cool error. And straight away, another find. So this one is Guy Fawkes. Pretty common though. We don't keep that one. Here we have another Lord Kitchener. Let's double check this one. Two pounds at the bottom as it should be. Oh, nice, and here we have a DNA double helix. We don't find a lot of these, uh, although it is not a keeper. It's a nice find, not bad condition that one, considering its age. Here we have World War I Army Centenary. So this one is very common indeed. We find, uh, I think this is the second most found commemorative on the channel. It is known to have an edge inscription error and it is also known to have a rotation error. The rotation on this one is fine and for king and country is fine. Brunel's achievements. So this is one of the two coin set achievements and the portrait. Another Lord Kitchener. That's the third one of the day. Two pounds. So that is all correct. Another Charles Dickens. And another World War I Army Centenary. No rotation error. And 
find the correct edge description. Ah, VE Day, the most common commemorative two pound coin. Very cool. And there's another Brunel's Achievements. It's the second one today. And we have another Shakespeare's Tragedies. Let's check the edge inscription. Piece of work is a man, so that one is all good and correct as well. Another Guy Fawkes gunpowder plot. It's the second one. Ah, and here we have Abolition of the Slave Trade. So this one's very common. Uh, just worth checking for the uh, sort of collector set uh, variant of this, where you've got the initials DG next to the seven there. Union. So this one is known to have a rotation error, although I've never found one. That one is absolutely fine. Here we have another Shakespeare's tragedy, so let's check the edge inscription on this one. Piece of work is a man, that's correct as well. Of course I will be checking all the coins at the end of the hunt to make sure I haven't missed anything. It's just some of the designs are known to have errors, so I check them on camera. Another abolition of the slave trade. No initials on that one. And another one. Again, no initials. And here we have another Britannia. I didn't clock the year. Let's turn it over and have a look. That's a 2016, so that's a low tier keeper as well. Florence Nightingale, it's a different one, unfortunately very common as well. And another Florence Nightingale. Another VE day. Oh, very nice. So here we have a King James Bible. I was beginning to wonder then. So this is just under a million in circulation. It is an absolutely cracking find. Definitely a star find. And here we have a Robert Burns, so that's a low tier keeper. Although that one's pretty grubby. And this one's the last bag of the hunt. Okay, I'm gonna double check all the coins now, make sure I didn't miss anything the first time round, and I post back in a few seconds with what I find. Okay, I finished checking all the coins and I didn't find anything else of interest. Uh, not many keepers today. On the top row, a couple of low tier ones. We have a Robert Burns and a 2016 Britannia. And then on the bottom row, a couple of real quality finds to be fair. We've got the 2015 Britannia, only 650,000 of those were circulated and a King James Bible. Thank you very much as always for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. It really does make a big difference. And I'll see you next time for another coin hunt.